Hi, I'm Graham Oakes, founder of Upside Energy. <coughs> we pay people to not use energy. We do that because the grid's under stress. At peak times, it turns on all its oldest, dirtiest, most expensive power stations. It'd be a lot cheaper to pay people to not use energy. That's what we do. National Grid already does this for large industrial energy users. It pays them to not use energy at peak times. We're simply making those payments available to households and small businesses. We do that by managing existing batteries. For example, uninterruptible power supplies, the backup power systems behind computers, traffic lights, cell phone towers, and so on. We estimate there's six gigawatt hours of backup batteries in the UK. That's six power stations worth of batteries. We also make it economic for people to install batteries alongside their PV arrays. Or we can work with electric vehicles, with domestic heating systems, and so on. Across the top of all those batteries, we're building a cloud service. It coordinates them, charging them when demand is low, then using them to run equipment at peak times. That creates a virtual energy store that we can use to sell balancing services to National Grid and the energy suppliers. We then redistribute 75% of our, our income back to the original equipment owners. That makes their equipment more valuable, so they buy more of it. So the manufacturers are keen to sell our service. That's why firms like Sharp and Siemens are working with us. This all takes a bunch of clever algorithms. We've applied for a patent on the key one, the one that lets us capture value from the entire stack. Many of the others will develop through open innovation. Universities such as Oxford, Manchester and Reading are all interested in that. Small energy users are a big prize. Their aggregated demand represents over 50% of the market, but they're difficult to address. We've built a business system that lets us address those small energy users. To do that, we've had to overcome several challenges. Firstly, there's those proprietary algorithms that let us manage large fleets of devices. Secondly, we've created a business model that creates incentives for the manufacturer's existing sales channels to sell our service. That business model also makes it difficult for any individual manufacturer to go it alone. They'll struggle to build scale on their own. The net effect is that we can build scale. We can build a large energy store at low capital cost and virtually zero um, marginal cost of operations. That's a good place to be in a price-based market. We spent 2014 building that business system and the associated technical architecture, winning a bunch of awards along the way. During 2015, we'll build a pilot of the service. We've got 470,000 pounds from Innovate UK to do that and an impressive group of partners and advisors. We'll then launch in 2016. We should break even in 2018. And this slide's out of date. We're projecting now 28 million pounds of revenue in the UK for 2025. And by 2025, we'll be operating in Europe, North America, Asia Pacific. You add that all up and we're looking at $500 million of revenue at a $90 million EBIT. We've got a strong team. I'm a systems engineer with 30 years experience. I've recruited a strong technical team and we've got a great sales director joining us in April. We're currently looking for finance and operations people. We'll also be looking for about 1.3 million pounds towards the end of this year. We'll use that to build a 500 megawatt hour power facility for the UK. That's probably the cheapest power station you'll ever build. Thank you. <laughs>